On this episode of Create Consume Repeat, I finally answer the most common question I receive in my comment section. How do I display my Twitch chat during a live stream? As we all know, live streaming allows us the ability to interact with our viewers in real time. But in order to foster true community engagement, especially on Twitch, it helps to display your chat window via an overlay. Sadly, the ATEM line of switchers lacks this ability. Thankfully, we can address this in a few simple steps. Now, before we get started, you will need the following equipment. One, an ATEM Mini Pro, ISO, or Extreme. Two, a computer running either Mac or Windows, and it must be connected to one of the ATEM's inputs. Three, a secondary display connected to your computer. Yes, you do need two displays in order for this to work. Four, a free copy of OBS and five, an account on streamlabs.com, which you can cop for free. And in case you're still confused on how to connect everything, here's a copy of my setup for reference. Step one, as mentioned earlier, in order to get this to work, we will need to create a free account on Streamlabs. So let's open up a browser window and head on over to streamlabs.com. And in the upper right-hand corner, select login. You will be taken to a login page where you can log in with your Twitch account. Don't have a Twitch account? Well, I think you might be watching the wrong tutorial, but don't worry, stick around. You might still learn something. Now that we've logged in, please ignore this dashboard. I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but we wanna focus our attention on the left-hand rail and select all widgets. From this new page, you will want to select chat box. On the next page, you will see your widget URL, a small text box previewing what your chat will look like, and underneath that, a slew of options that will allow us to customize the look and feel of our chat. These options include themes, icons, badges, emotes, background color, text color, font size, the list goes on and on. Now, for our purposes, we are going to stick with the clean theme and check everything in the badge and emote sections. Obviously, you can select whatever you want, but we 100% want to stick with the clean theme. When it comes to background color, we want to stick with black. And for our text, we want to stick with white and make our font size 25 pixels. In my opinion, this size works the best, but feel free to experiment. Now, from this point, we could easily switch over to OBS, but I recommend making a few minor adjustments to the CSS. And for those unfamiliar, CSS controls the look and feel of an HTML page, which in this instance would be our chat window. So let's scroll on down and click enable from the enable custom HTML slash CSS. You will see a text box open up with three tabs, HTML, CSS, and JS please select CSS. Now, if you're not comfy coding, don't worry. I'll walk you through it. First, let's head on over to Text Shadow in the body section and switch the one pixel and two pixel references to zero pixels. This will effectively remove the shadow on our text, giving us perfectly flat copy. And this is important since we will be keying out the background, which is black, just like the shadow and my soul. Next, we want to turn our attention to the animation line in the log section. This line controls how our text animates in and out. And here you want to switch the fade in right and fade out to zero, since fading in and fading out will present problems that once again stem from the keyer. With all those changes made, the only thing left to do is scroll up and copy the URL. Step two. Our next step is to open up OBS and create a scene. When the window pops up, give it a name and click OK. Once our scene has been created, we will need to add a browser source. When that window opens up, give that a name and click OK. This will prompt a new window with a ton of options, but all we need to do is paste our Streamlabs chat window URL into the URL text field and click OK. You will now see a red frame in the preview window. For the purposes of this tutorial, please drag it to the bottom right corner. Obviously, you can drag it anywhere. And if you're not happy with the size, you can double click on the browser source and change the width and height. But 
Just keep in mind, this will only affect the text frame. In order to increase the text size, you will need to do that in Streamlabs. Now, before we head on over to the ATEM software control panel, we want to test our chat box. And in order to do that, we will need to open our Twitch channel and in the chat window, send a text. And voila, our chat is now officially working, at least in OBS. But wait, don't get ahead of yourself. We still need to do one essential thing before heading on over to the ATEM software control panel. Please right click on the preview window and select windowed projector preview. When that window opens up, right click, hover over full screen and select BMD HDMI. Step three, with our windowed projector preview running, we can now open the ATEM software control panel. Once opened, we want to ensure our game footage is showing up. So I will ensure input one is selected from the program section. Next, we want to open the upstream key drawer and select the DVE tab. From the fill source, please select your main camera. For me, that will be input two, which is my Sony A6400. Since this will be picture in picture, I will set my position to X equals 11.75 and Y equals 6.50. For size, I will make both X and Y 0.25. Once those numbers are set, you will want to activate our upstream key from the next transition section. While here, let's ensure background and key one are activated. Next, we will head on over to the downstream key drawer and select our computer from the fill source and key source dropdown. For me, that is input four. Once selected, we need to turn on the downstream key. And at this point, you'll want to head back to Twitch and input some dummy copy to ensure it's working. And just like that, we have Twitch chat displaying on your live stream. But if you're OCD like me, you may have already noticed these annoying jaggies. To remedy that, we will want to head back to the downstream here and change the clip to 15 and gain to 100. Congrats, you have a officially completed this tutorial. But before you run off and deploy this hack on your live stream, there are a few things to keep in mind. Number one, since we are using the downstream here, you may notice that anything black will be transparent. So certain emotes and badges may not render properly. Two, if you do decide to use the upstream here instead, you will not be able to use picture in picture. So I don't recommend employing the upstream here. Three, if you don't need picture in picture and want to go with the upstream key, bear in mind that Twitch chat color is assigned randomly. So whatever color you decide to key out will render transparent. So for example, if you key out green, well, anything that's green may also be keyed out. And four, while this hack is useful, it will never be 100% perfect. And just like that, we are at the end of another episode. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And more importantly, please help me to get to 5,000 subscribers by smashing that like, subscribe, and bell. Catch you guys next time.